You have to give up the notion that empty space is empty. Let me try and explain. If I were to suck out all the air from this jar, you'd quite rightly say that having removed all the atoms, I'm left with a vacuum, a volume of pure emptiness. Quantum electrodynamics flies in the face of this common sense idea by saying that the vacuum is not, I repeat, not a place where nothing exists and nothing happens. Instead, it's full of stuff and is heaving with activity. How can this possibly be true? Well, let's imagine one tiny point in the emptiness. Common sense tells us there's nothing there. But quantum physics tells us there's only nothing there on average. And it's those two words, on average, that force us to rethink our understanding of reality. Think of empty space like a bank account, which on average has nothing in it. As a physics academic, this is a concept I'm very familiar with. Some days it might be £100 in credit, other days it might be £100 overdrawn, but on average it has a zero balance. Empty space turns out to have similar accounting skills, but it can borrow energy rather than money. And this energy is literally borrowed from the future, provided that it's paid back again very quickly. In practice, what this means is that the borrowed energy can be used to create a particle and an antiparticle which are spontaneously formed from the void, provided that a fraction of a second later they annihilate each other and disappear. Energy is borrowed out of nowhere. It's turned into matter. The matter then self-destructs back into energy. And this happens in an instant all over the void. In fact, in a stunning confirmation of Dirac's antimatter theory, the vacuum seethes with huge numbers of matter and antimatter particles continually being created and annihilated. Down at the smaller scale, space is a constant storm of creation and destruction. Physicists call it the quantum foam. The particles in the quantum foam come and go so quickly that we're completely unaware of them. We refer to them as virtual particles. But if we were able to slow time down almost to a standstill, we'd be able to see this seething activity, this constant creation and annihilation of matter and energy that's the fabric of reality itself. And from this comes the most jaw-dropping idea of all. Quantum electrodynamics says that the matter we think of as the stuff that makes up the everyday world, the world that we see and feel, is basically just a kind of leftover from all the feverish activity that virtual particles get up to in the void. So you, me, the earth, the stars, everything is basically just a part of a deeper, infinitely complex reality.